Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Hashtag Home, a film written and directed by Rojan Thomas. Now, the nominal head of the house in Hashtag Home is the character played beautifully by Indrans. Now, this is excellent casting. The man named Oliver Twist is as relevant as the video cassettes in the store he used to run. The world has passed him by. The world has passed Oliver Twist by and he hasn't made much of an attempt to keep with it. Now, Indran's face has this wonderful quality that invites you to underestimate him. You look at him and you go, this guy, what can he do? At the same time, this very face and Indran's micro-controlled emotions, his beautiful emotions, they invite you to also pity him, to sympathize with him. You look at him and you go, poor guy of all the people in his house, in his hashtag home, he's the one who's given the duty of cleaning up his own father's piss and shit. Now, if only his own son, that is Oliver Twist's own son, were as understanding. Now, this son is named Anthony and he's played by Srinath Basi. The man is a screenwriter, a very self-absorbed screenwriter. He's struggling with his latest script and on the advice of his producer, he returns home. The man actually lives some 200 kilometers away. He returns home to his family. He says, I'm going to finish my latest script surrounded by all the people in my family. Now, the central arc of the script is a solid one. It is about how Antony, the son, gives very little respect to his own father. He actually gives his smartphone more respect by the way he treats it, by the way he looks at it and the time that he spends spends with it. And this man, the story is about how this man, Antony, given the borderline contempt with which he treats his father, comes to realize that Oliver Twist 2 has his own set of admirable qualities. But the screenplay never makes it clear what the reason is for the emotional distance that Antony has with his father. Other than the fact that the man looks and acts sometimes like a loser, a fact that seems to bother nobody else but Antony. Antony's younger brother, played by Nelson Gafur, is okay with it. Antony's mother, played by Manju Pillai, is okay with it. Antony's girlfriend, played by Deepa Thomas, is okay with it. Even the superstar, the Malayalam superstar that Antony is writing his big script for, that man, it's actually a very, very contrived scene, that man is okay with Oliver Twist. Only Antony is not okay with his father. Now, right down the middle of the film, we get a very solid, a very smartphone-related solid reason for Antony to burst out at his father, but even this conflict is resolved very quickly. The very convenient writing makes Antony a big admirer of his future father-in-law, a man who has accomplished He's the anti-Oliver Twist. He's accomplished so much, he's achieved so much that he has written his own autobiography. But this plot point, again, is not treated with any real depth. It feels as shallow as maybe like a school kid playing around with another girl while his own plain girlfriend watches sadly from the sidelines. The screenplay instead keeps going off into many other directions during its enormous running time of 2 hours and 40 minutes. We get incredibly kind and forgiving and understanding loan officers who are incredibly kind and forgiving and understanding about default payments. We get a psychologist played by Vijay Babu. He is into Tai Chi. We get lectures about mental health. We get Antony constantly screaming at his girlfriend, the woman. Sometimes she seems to mind. Sometimes she's completely okay with it. And for all the build-up, we get a ridiculous reason for why Antony is so uncomfortable with himself the fact that translates into his uncomfortability or discomfort with his own father. Now, as I've said, the main problem of hashtag home is the writing. Now, take the other narrative thread where Oliver Twist is trying to get himself a smartphone. Now, this family is quite well off and it's not very clear why this man hasn't bought himself a smartphone. And I don't know how long we have to tolerate jokes about how old people cannot use new technology, especially in this case, because this man, Oliver Twist, is shown to be some kind of scientific genius who understands scientific concepts very easily. The one track that really works is Oliver Twist's relationship with his childhood best friend played by Johnny Antony. These two are simply wonderful together. The film has some very funny lines and many of them goes to this pairing. There are also some very sweet touches like Oliver Twist washing Antony's car. He's like many fathers who are emotionally distant and who try to make up for this emotional distance by doing mechanical tasks for their children. In the end, home feels like a big missed opportunity. At the cost of strengthening the character arc, the film keeps finding ways to give us capital CQ touches, like the fact that everybody in the family is named Oliver Twist. Yes, the character in the Charles Dickens novel is an orphan who finally finds a family, just like the Antony character here, 
whose emotional distance from his family finally finds his way emotionally back to his own family. But again, this is too self-conscious a touch, much like the big story, the big extraordinary story which forms the central event that drives this narrative. Now, this story, this extraordinary story is meant to be huge and magical and all sorts of things, but it comes across as terribly, terribly contrived. But I did like these lines delivered by Antony's future father-in-law. If you don't express yourself, if you don't explore who you are, then the true essence of yourself will be lost forever. I really, really love this thought, even though the film itself never finds its true essence. That's it about hashtag homie. If you like this video, do subscribe to Film Companion South and see you soon at the movies.